really good tea statement. We have really good tea today on the episode of BL Can't Save You. So Ooh, much good segue. tea here. <laughs> I'm Mana Reed. I'm Natalia. So we are, we have so much spiciness for you today because we're gonna talk about spiciness in air quotes. Okay. I just need to I just need to justify this by saying what she you know, Mana is out here really overselling the spice level that we're going to be bringing (laughs) y'all um but go on go on who knows for For someone who's never read fan fiction this could be just the height of spice you know this could be really spicy i don't know Mm. um but first we we do have some not terribly a lot of news but um, in case you haven't heard, or in case you fall into this age range of category and are interested in becoming an idol yourself, there could be people. Um, <laughs> Beyond, <laughs> Beyond Cloud is holding global auditions for talent. You uh, have to be there. There are some stipulations. Yeah, you there have to be <laughs> born between the uh, year of 2000, 2000, to, 2000 so I'm like- to 2007. So that's check one already so, disqualified. So already disqualified, okay. both of us. All right, what's check two? two? Two, you have to be a man. Okay, Dis- check two, disqualified Dis- doubly. Dis- disqualified, disqualified. Now, this one I think most people could satisfy because apparently for a on Cloud, you do not have to have an ounce of talent. Yeah, it says talent not required. No, not required. Not fact, required. Only this, requirement- this bodes well. Okay. This bodes well for a lot of people. So, so here is this bodes well for the quality of their future projects. No talent, no problem. (laughs) No problem. Uh, So, how to apply? There's instructions here. So, you have to introduce yourself, um, so that way they can get to know you. Uh, you, A written introduction. Written introduction. Mm -hmm. A written introduction. Then. Followed along with the video recording of you introducing yourself. And then... Then, Okay, I just need to point out that this next statement that they're making directly contradicts contradicts a previous statement that they've made on this... Right, right. On this fact sheet. Right, right. We also missed one, but I'll I'll get back to it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, So the video has to show your skills to be part of... Your skills? What skills? It said you didn't have to have any talent. Right. What skills then, are they talking about? And then so they pass this around through Twitter. So if you had like your phone and you could like scan the QR code, I guess, for like further instructions. <laughs> Await further instructions. I mean, I'm assuming that that's what the QR code is for. Like, I don't know. It's kind of weird. I've never seen a QR code like on a casting call, but whatever. I have. I have. I have. Like, it's, you know, it's an easy way to. Get well, I guess it's true. But well, yeah. but here is another thing: if you if you one if you're born between the year 2000 2007 and happen to have a penis, um, you you know it be, actually doesn't specify oh, that they have true. to have a penis. Technically, I mean, it just I says mean, a male gender. That's so also true. that's also true. So, so there is, my enemies, there, there could be, there could you know, be a lot of wrinkles. You, you know, if you're just, if, if you're one of our, you know, friendly trans men listeners, this, they didn't specifically say, amen. You had to be born. So, mm, who knows? But also, too, weight and height are unrestricted. unrestricted. So you could be five foot. And and still get a shot. I don't know. So who knows? Who knows? Um, who knows? This, you know, whatever. It's it's fun. They're doing the global editions. Eh, seems sus. This very restrictive age range. Very sus. This, this 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 has the JYP looking for young teenagers, like looking for twelve year olds to audition. Sus. Mm. If if you don't know about don't know. K-pop, that's fine. Um, but basically, it's kind of like when you know there's new like auditions being held for like any k-pop group or like any like global talent they look for them really young and the the problem with that is is that one like how to regardless of how you feel like when you when you (laughs) yeah i agree it's totally 
totally trash. Yeah, it is. Yeah, you know, yeah, children yeah. should not be yeah. pay pop idols. I agree, one hundred percent. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. And I also agree that they should not be Thai idols either, because like, in, in here's. And I'm probably going to get canceled for this, but I'm used to it by now. I get canceled for a lot of things when I bring this up. The problem is, is that, yes, they are going to play characters, and yes, it is fiction. The things that happen to them outside of that yeah. is not fiction. I, I don't see why this would get you canceled. This is very common sense. You would think. You, know. <laughs> you, you uh, would definitely think. But I've gotten in hot water with some people for these very statements. These pe- those people suck. Okay. Just <laughs> fuck those people. It's, you know. Because here's, because here's the thing that they don't realize. is like, yes, the things that happen to their characters, yes, that's fiction. Yes, that is fake. Mm-hmm. But there's but, very real things that accompany idol life. Especially and it's mo- in it's mostly It's mostly people not realizing that an actor is not a character. So, just they putting think- this out there, they're playing pretend. Yes. None of it's real. Yes. <sighs> exhausting. Exhausting. People are exhausting. Yeah, people are exhausting. But the, but, the, but then they're like, oh, but it's like they're playing a role. I'm like, yeah, they're playing that role for that show. You're right. But then they get off that show, and then they promote that show and then they do fan service for that show and then oh my god i'm losing my shit again <laughs> because this gets me uh so mad. fired um up. fired up um and then they like do fan service for that show and then you know and then people and, begin to blur the lines of reality and fiction and it's just like okay. yeah and then and then calm too down. especially calm with, like, down Listen, and I, I have different. I have very many complaints about Beyond Cloud as a company. Like when certain things have come out about them and about the people that they choose to associate with, and I'm like, but look, at the end of the day, though, here's the thing: trust no corporation. Like all of these companies are bad. Right. Every right. single no, one. Every single. So one if you're out here being like, no, 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 this company's but no, they're not. No. No, they're not. They're here to make money, and if you're here to make money, you're then you're you're a company. Mm, mm. Sus, sus. Yeah, yeah. And I wouldn't, and I wouldn't feel like it would be as sus if they weren't looking for that specific age range of yeah. young impressionable people. I'm like, why don't you look for 18 year old? I mean, not that 18 year olds are any better, but at least it would be something like mm-hmm. 18, 19, 20 years. They're still young. You can still, they still have a long career ahead of them in mm-hmm. that age range. So why specifically young boys or young men? Suspicious. <sighs> all right. <sighs> but that's all I'm going to say about it because then I'm just going to, I could like literally sit here and talk about it for hours because it gets me so like upset and it gets me so like, <sighs> I can't, I'm not going to do that. But because. listen, we got something fun to talk about we do we do (laughs) because there's been this show (laughs) that i don't know there's something about it that is it good is it this episode really pissed me off like yeah yeah i I know what we're talking about is it is the show good no. It was. Okay. I like up until no, 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 no. Let me finish. Let me finish. Okay, 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 okay. The show. No. Can I not stop watching it like some sort of addict after their <laughs> next fix? Yes. So it's like the show has me in its fucking grips. So we're talking tonight about Unforgotten Night. Um, a GMM TV 25 uh romp uh <laughs> that's currently airing on gagulula in the americas yes and then everywhere else on youtube on youtube um and it's okay now i'm gonna be honest here i've never really it's, i don't okay i don't dislike him <laughs> but i've never really thought that yoon <laughs> The main actor in it was part 
particularly good, but he's in a lot of stuff. He is in a lot of stuff. And he just keeps showing up. So he must be like nice offset. This is all I can figure is that he's probably a really nice guy. Because if you're I mean, a really nice guy <laughs> and he's good looking, like 100%. Yeah. So he must be really nice because he keeps getting put on these like more and more shows as lead roles. And every time I watch him, I'm just like, like he's fine, I guess. But like, <laughs> okay. So anyway. Well, well, so like for me... Like, I don't particularly, it's kind of weird, because I never really thought about Yoon either. I was just like, he's there, he's an actor, he's had some, like, parts, and he's he fine. He exists. Like, <laughs> like, it's he not, shows like, a up a lot. Like, it's not a problem, right? Like, some people seem to have, like, this visceral hate for him. But I'm like, like, I, I don't, I don't care about, like, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. I'm like, yeah, he's whatever, you know? Like, he's not <laughs> making the list of my favorite actors. But, like, the more that he keeps getting these, like, lead roles, the more I'm like, wait. But, but, but so, to me, he's, like a, like, he's a very generic kind of handsome. Like, the like yeah. kind that you would like, find, like, and in For all in of you young lovers out there. Yeah. Go yeah. to town. We're we yeah. don't hate that. We don't hate no. him. Okay. No, we don't. We're not disparaging him at all. It's just I personally don't get it. We myself. personally don't get it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and we're allowed to have different opinions. Yes. So, you know, we're gonna yeah. keep it at that. So let's let's yeah. all be cool about opinions that may or may not be said. Or about that are very subjective, night tonight. Okay, we're very. It's very subjective. Everybody has mm -hmm. their own opinions. Exactly. About exactly. Who their favorites are. And it's so like fine. Pre-warning, we will probably, this will be a bit of a spoiler episode. Yes. So if you haven't yes. watched Unforgotten Night and you don't want to be spoiled on it, go watch it first yes. and then come watch this. But if you're still undecided, here's the plot of this <laughs> show. And then you can decide at that moment whether to pause this video, go watch it and come back, <laughs> or just to keep listening and be spoiled. It... It's up to you. The world is your oyster. Although, let me tell you, like, shameless plug here. If you really are not very sure, mm -hmm. I did react to the trailer way back when. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you can also watch that and decide, like, mm -hmm. what is this madness happening? And then, you know, come back and be like, okay, like, this is the kind of thing I could do. Yes. So as with most uh, BL shows that we see these days, it is adapted from a novel. The novel's called Mafia's Bad Love. And the plot follows this 25-year-old accountant who has who's like in love with this dude. And the dude's like, I don't love you. I'm dating this other guy. So move on, friend. Yeah, yeah. We're yeah. done. And he's like, yeah. well, fuck my life. Like, what am I gonna do now? So he's like sad and he's like, okay, I yeah. guess I gotta move on. So he's yeah. like, you know what's the perfect way to move on? It's to just like go drink and then find some dude to yeah. have like one night of fun yeah. with. Yeah. And then I'll feel better or I'll feel worse, but at least I'll feel <laughs> but something. At least, but at least I'm gonna call for something. At least I won't be like feeling bad about this situation. <laughs> yeah. I'll just yeah. be feeling bad about my hoe phase. It's fine. <laughs> so he goes to the bar. And he catches the eye of this dude who's like, yes. ooh, hey, boy, like, you want to come back to my hotel room? And he's like, fuck yeah, like, let's, yeah, yeah. let's go. So then in the hotel room, I will say this for the show, okay? Lots of fun consent happening. Yeah. Yes. All, all the, you know, like, oh, are you sure? You, like, you yeah. know, you're not drunk? You, you want to do this? Anyway, so the dude that he hooks up with is like, hmm, just before we, like, get into this, I need you to know that I'm, like, into some kinky shit. <laughs> um, which then leads to the funniest sex scene, unintentionally funniest sex scene. It was I have ever seen in my life it was too much like it was honestly, too like, much but like where it's like way that you would think that would get you it's, excited so it's like he's like chaining him up he's got handcuffs he's doing like you know dripping wax on him he's yeah, doing the yeah. spanking he's you know i air quotes whipping him this man has never held a whip in his life i just need to point this out this was this was 
emba- embarrassing to watch, you know? So, <laughs> so then he like wakes up the next day and he's like, oh shit, like, I guess I'm like really into like, BDSM yeah, yeah. Shit. He looks that like, up, he Googles it. He Googles it. He's like, why do I like being like spanked during sex? And it's just like, ooh, maybe you're into, you know, BDSM. Ooh. So it's just like, okay, woo. Um, so meanwhile, the other dude, Kamal, the guy that he slept with, you find out that one, he's like a mafia dude. Okay. Mm-hmm. And two, but he, but he doesn't deal drugs. No, 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 no. He's or, like, he's trying to go legit. Okay. Or he's, or, he's, or human trafficking. So yeah, he yeah. has a moral he's, he's, code. Or he's, he's into gambling. He owns like yeah, casinos yeah. and shit. Anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. he's just, you know, whatever. He's, <laughs> he's a mafioso with a heart of gold. Okay. <laughs> so you find out that like he's been really looking. Just, yeah. It seems that the gay community in Thailand is just absolutely barren right. of BDSM fans. Like yes. none of them, none no of one them. that he slept with. No, apparently, I, I listen. I've been to Thailand. You can just go to a BDSM sex club. You could have found someone easier than this <laughs> shenanigans you were doing. Anyway, I digress. So he's like. Oh, this this is like the first guy who's like yeah. ever could keep up with my sick appetites. Like <laughs> so he's like, I'm we're gonna like I'm in love with you now because like you just did it. Blew my mind for me. Like, like you were you just, just like mm, you took every nasty kinky thing I did. Anyway, um <laughs> so meanwhile, <laughs> Kim, the main dude's like uh wait wait excuse me um (laughs) sir i was not actually signing up for a relationship i just wanted like a one night stand to like get over this dude i couldn't get over yeah um and he's like too late we're together now bitch like (laughs) and so basically he's just like since I, the unforgotten nights that he couldn't forget how good the sex was, that he was like, I'm going to spend the rest of my life with you. So that's like the basic plot. Then shenanigans. Shenanigans. Yeah. And we'll get into the shenanigans because they never end. <laughs> so there's, of course, like you have, you know, the, the classic female character who doesn't yeah. understand that gay people don't, that gay men don't want to have sex with women, no matter how good looking they are. Yeah, yeah. Because she's very good looking. She like, is very attractive. She's, she's very, very cute. Um, but she, she's like, yeah, I'm going to make this mafia guy, like, love me. And um, I'm sitting here like, <laughs> my sibling in Christ. Um, <laughs> He only dates men. Like, he's never, he's not hidden this. No. Like, everyone knows. <laughs> Why are you he the only one? He pays for it. He gets paid for it, too. Yeah. Like, no, listen, just... he's, I, like, you're good looking, but unfortunately, you're ill equipped for what he's <laughs> looking for, you know? Um, she has, like, a cousin or brother. Yeah. Or, well, she, so there's so, so she's the cousin of like the rival, the mom. rival mafia. Yeah, um, who, by the way, is really bad at his job. Yeah, he's very <laughs> bad at his job. Good at acting, actually. I thought he was pretty good. No, yeah, no, like, he's a really good actor. Good. Like, but but like, but he's bad at being the mom. Like, yes. <laughs> yeah, they're yeah. Um, then you also meet the cast of his bodyguards. Um, the head of the bodyguard. Yeah, his bodyguards are great. The head of his bodyguard uh, is named Comb. And just absolute straight man. Like, uh, not not straight as in his sexuality, but in his, like, characterization. Yeah, he's very Where he's, like, he's very, very, you know, like, never, you know, doesn't crack. Doesn't show his... Anyway, meanwhile, this is the one part of the show, like, a lot of parts of the show confuse me. But this part really confused me, where they introduce a love interest for the head bodyguard yeah. in uh, the nephew of who's Kamal's maid, who's very I cute, but like, so he's so cute. But okay, first off, no hate to these actors. They literally have the chemistry of two pieces of limp celery being beaten That's together. No, 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 no. Stay with me. Also, 
One of them looks like he's cracking 40, and the other one looks about 15, and it's real uncomfortable. And he's only, like, okay, so this nephew is only supposed to be, like, 19 or 20. Like He's in college. Yeah, just, like, first year university. And I'm just like, no, I don't like this. Like, I don't like it. It made <laughs> Every time I'm just like, Ugh. like no, like this, this is this has but, but real okay, inappropriate real, like, jailbait energy, and I don't like it. They just make him look real older, like in the he series. Looks, like, I, I know that he's like not like here. One second, let no. me just see. Let me just see how old this they, guy. They is. look way like outside um, of the show. They look definitely like way better. Like, and I'll give props for okay. the makeup artist for making them. Look yeah. Older, like, but like the actor is 24 who's playing yeah. the head bodyguard, but he seriously looks like he's cracking 40. Like and this, it's because they give him the like corn hair. And yeah, and they like, give him the suit on like just the suit. Like anyway, it just makes me very uncomfortable and I don't like it. Which okay? is so funny because like for me, like during those moments, I'm like because I think they're cute, like for like, whatever reason. Yeah, they I are just... cute, but like <laughs> I and don't I know. Just, like, here's my thing. It would look a lot more cute if they looked if, like. No, 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 no. If Baboon, who's the nephew, was going to grad school, you know what I mean? Like, that would have been way cuter for me personally. Like, if he was I doing mean, masters. So, so here's the thing because I remember I was doing my reaction to it because I react to the series on like my YouTube, like, well, the, but anyway, I react to the series. And so, like, and I. And I knew, like, he was in college because they had mentioned it before in the other mm-hmm. episode. But, like, but sometimes I have to be, like, he's in college, right? <laughs> because, yeah. like, how the fuck? Because, like, like, literally in one scene, like, in one, like, in one instance where, like, they were, like, in, like, their vacation house or whatever, you know, just, like, he's in college, right? <laughs> like, like, we're, no. like, we're like they ha- they'll have, like, scenes where, like, they've got this poor actor playing like he's about 14 years old. And I, it make it, like, mm, I don't like it. Man, I it's, don't It like was it. very hard for me. It's because uncomfortable. I guess, yeah, it didn't, I was surprised, like, honestly, like, I just think that they were adorable in and like, and it, because they haven't done anything. Like yeah, they, not like, a, they're, they're, it's a very chaste romance they, between these two. It's a very, it's a very chaste romance. So that's it's, why it's, it's think, mostly like longing glances it's mostly like and like longing like, looks yeah. and like maybe like a touch or two, but like it's always like but like on, like on, like on the shoulder, on the shoulder or like you know like, their hands will like. <laughs> You yeah, know, while so they're walking, like not... we'll glance together. Like, yeah, it's very yeah. innocent, but I still yeah. don't like it. Like, I, I think see, that's why. My problem like, is, I know what I know what this is signifying, and I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> but I will say, the I, actor playing by Boone is really cute. Yeah, he's, they're, like, they're, yeah, he's, he's really very cute. adorable. Yeah, he's very um, adorable, um, and he's just like such like a positive like being on the show. Like, hmm. you know, he just like looks out for everybody, and like especially Cole. Like, he's mm-hmm. always like. Oh, are you okay? Like, did you get hurt? I'm like, <laughs> so another thing that I really like about the show, okay, because I got I got positives. We can do like the positivity sandwich, where it's like you positive, you negative, you positive, right? The positivity mm-hmm. sandwich when you're you know giving constructive criticism. Um, so a thing I really like about the show is the actual char- main character Kim, because he's <laughs> such a little bitch, but like in such a fun way. Like I love he it. is, he is always pissed off always, at the mafia all the guy. time like he's always pissed off at Kimball and he's always just like oh you fucking but then at the same time he's always like okay fine like I guess we're in love or whatever like yeah <laughs> and like I just love what a little bitch he is like he's always angry um a thing I find mystifying about the show why are there tigers <laughs> Okay, we gotta talk about the big tiger, the we elephant, the tiger <laughs> the shaped elephant in the, in the room. room. Yeah. Because, okay, because I remember reacting to the show, right? I wanna talk about my reactions a lot because they're ongoing and like the last one is coming up, uh, you know, probably mm-hmm. like it'll probably be done by the time this episode comes out. Um, I legitimately did not think that there were going to be real tigers. <laughs> I didn't either. I thought it was just going to be the 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 sick 
you know, like grandma tiger. blanket tiger yeah. on his back. <laughs> like, and honestly, that that's what I was saying. That was, that, that was it. I was just like, okay, like, because there's tigers, because, like, on the poster, like, for the show, they do have a tiger, like, claw swipe, like, mm. in the back. Like, and then they show, like, the tattoo or whatever. So I was like, well, I guess. And, like, I guess the, like, in his headquartered office, like, he has a, like, tiger, like, uh, centerpiece. Like, well, I don't know what those are called. But, like, like in the back, like, when he's in his office and, like, the backlight, there's, like, a tiger head on it. Oh, the cameo. The silhouette. Yeah, yeah, yeah cameo. Yeah, cameo. Yeah, whatever. Uh, and so I was like, okay, well, there's, like, you know, tigers are powerful. They're, you know, they make people scared. So I get it. Kind of, like, I get it, right? Like, that's mm-hmm. the imagery that they're trying to invoke. It's like, it's like the sexy, dangerous imagery. Yeah. I get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, but <laughs> And then. But then. Randomly. <laughs> I was not expecting it. I don't think any of us were expecting it. But then, real tigers. He's he's got pet tigers. Listen, we all watch Tiger King. We know this is a bad idea. Okay, like. I just, anyway, he's got these pet tigers. Yeah, um, and and I always do a PSA. Like in, the, I was like, you don't have pet. Don't tigers. have tigers. <laughs> Don't, don't have tigers. Like, having pet tigers is a bad idea. If you need to be told idea. having pet tigers is a bad idea, I don't know how to help you. Like, yeah. <laughs> it was just like, but it was just so random. I was just like, and I was just like, I didn't know y'all had this budget. <laughs> they got, I they got that tiger budget. Like, I guess I'm they clearly, that's where all of the budget went. I just, <laughs> you know, like, Okay, and while I say this, while it sounds like I really hate this show, I genuinely enjoy this show. I just need everyone listening to know that I find this show incredibly entertaining. Um, I can't stop watching. I'm addicted. It's uh, it's just something so awful and yet so entrancing about it. I don't even know what it is either because I'm like this is not normally like the typical the, the blah. The typical show I would pick up, like, I think this is, like, my second reaction. Mm -hmm. And I was just, like, well, I was, and I had reacted to the trailer. So I was, like, okay, well, if I react to the trailer that I'm going to react to the first episode, I'm going to try to do reactions because, like, I've already kind of, like, continued this. And so, like, I was reacting to the first episode. And I was, like, and then in my head, like, afterwards, I was, like, I don't know if I could do this. Like, I don't know, like, if I'm going to be able, because this show is so ridiculous That's from the first episode. But then, like, I don't know. But then, like, I get, then I came back. I was just like, wait a minute. Wait a minute here. This show is actually really kind of good. Um, like, but, but, like, but it's, it's, so here's the thing. Like, it's really, like, the people acting in the show. Yeah, the, listen, the actors are doing their best. I got... No problem. Like, okay. like Cherry in Denai. Fantastic. No, 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 not Denai. Um, damn, there's they have Danil. similar names. Danil. Danil. Um, you know, and and you know, Sammy <laughs> and, and nightmare. And Sammy and and her friend and like even like you know Kim's parents that like that brief episode. Like everybody is doing a really They're good doing job. their best. It's really funny. So like. Uh, the character who plays Evan, who is like the head mafia guy, yeah. That this other like the main the main character works for, um, he hasn't like been in much recently. And in one of my group chats, they like he showed up for the first time, and my friend was like, "Really, really, this was this is what he's this is what he's if coming you, back." If you with. don't know who he is, uh, which is fair, because if you haven't watched like. Asian TV in a long time. He was actually one of um, an MTV, oh, I can't even, MTV VJ for mm-hmm. like Asia. And he was really one of the best. Like he yeah. was very popular, you know, back in the day. And like, you know, he retired or he just, you know, decided that he wanted to do other things, which is fine. Um, but like he, he did he'll come, he'll do like one thing a year is basically what's been happening. It's like he'll but have he one did credit come back. And people could not have believed. And people literally, when we're on Twitter, we're like, "I can't believe that they got this, him." This is this is him, huh? This is what we're <laughs> doing. This is what we're doing. No, and I was like, he must have been really passionate about this project. And she was like, "Get the fuck out of this." Chat. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, but apparently he, he felt good enough about it that he decided to do it, you know? I mean, maybe it's just because it wasn't that much of a commitment. Like, you know, he's only here uh, for, like, you only entered in in, like, episode, like... Yeah, he's literally bit part. Bit part. Yeah, like, it's, like not, it's not a very big part. So what, what I love um, is I feel like this show, the writers, like, sort of misinterpreted how long their plots should be because for most of it for like so it's a 12 episode show yeah uh episode 11 just aired as of when we're recording this we have one episode to go um so the the like the other the rival mafia dude um what is his name They, they they okay deny Deny. Okay. They named him very similar. Very no, similarly. <laughs> okay. Deny was like led up to be this big villain, but like yeah. by like episode nine, they dealt with him. Yeah. So now they're like, well, fuck, we gotta bring in another villain, I guess, because we couldn't make enough story for him to last the full 12 episodes. So they bring back this character okay i feel really bad for the actor okay the actor is actually like a really good singer and musician um his name's uh his his nickname is amen which i think is great you know nice biblical yeah. nickname yeah, yeah um to play just the most cursed fucking character um so they bring him back as like the little brother of Evan, Evan, or Evan. Uh, whose name is Danil. So it's Danil. like even, so it's even, even the villains have like the same name practically. And he just shows up to just be fucking crazy eyed and unhinged and be like, yeah, me and Kamal, like just to come to come up to Kim, the, the accountant, to be like, yeah, me and your boyfriend, like we used to fuck all the time. And like, I'm going to like steal him back. And to like the credit of the character, he's like, "Well, you can try." Like, did did you not get enough hugs as a child? <laughs> like, sir, like this man has just introduced me like, as his boyfriend, and you yeah. as like an yeah. ex. Yeah. Um, and I have continuously been like, I don't really give a shit that he used to sleep with you. Um, yeah. Because. The past is the past, and okay, this all leads up so, to this nonsense. Wait, 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 okay, wait, 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 okay. Because, because, like, up until this point, I was just like, okay, yeah, the writing's a little unhinged, but they mostly stick to mm-hmm. the plot, and they mostly, you know, have but been the characters. Along. Like, listen, like, the characters up until this last episode, <laughs> the characters have been fairly consistent. Yes, which is good con- writing. Like these characters are, yes. they make. The decisions that make could, that continuously make sense yeah. for these characters. But then you could tell for this episode, they like they lost the plot. They got lost in the sauce. And it is was what happened. too weak to lose the plot. Like you could have lost so, the plot in episode two. This is where like you know we've been big spoilers all the time. So basically, Danil, new villain, yes. the ex, discovers yes. that the guy Kim was in love with actually works for the mafia dude well no he used to he doesn't he used to he doesn't anymore yeah yeah. and so he's basically like oh isn't it interesting how your boyfriend like used to you know and by the way for for for, like all intents and purposes like day was like the only boyfriend that we knew about he ever had yeah, for all we know, right? For all we know, like, this was the only the only guy he ever yeah. slept with who then yeah, dumped yeah. him, which yeah. is which then, led to the yeah, yeah. anyway, so it led to this whole thing. So, <laughs> and he tried to tell him so, he tri- so, several times, several times. Then, like episode like eight and nine, he'd be like, "Oh, I just want you to know more about me." And like, in in Kamal was like, "Was like, I don't care, baby. Yeah, I don't in, care about your past. Yeah, past. Like, I've I've done some shitty yeah, stuff in my yeah, past yeah. too. Like, I don't care." Yeah. So anyway, a lot of talk. Okay, a lot right, of fucking right. talk. Right, um, right. so <laughs> then the the evil guy like uncovers that he used to work for him, and he's like, mm, "Guess who your guess who your so called boyfriend used to have sex with? It's your ex bodyguard. How do you like slappy seconds?" And it seems like listen, it could be. Like, you know, 
dumb editing that is actually going to be nothing and it's all like you know because you know how tree views sometimes like heighten yeah. the um but it makes it seem like somehow kamal's gonna suddenly care about this as like a thing which is like would have been fine kind of like in like kind of like in the beginning like in the beginning mm -hmm. of like the we didn't know season. them they weren't in love we blah, yeah blah, blah, exactly blah. like exactly. they've gone through they a whole yeah. character development with yeah. him finally like accepting yeah. him and opening up his heart and yeah blah, 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 blah. yeah they could have done it there and then that could have like made more sense right yeah. because like, now it doesn't make any like... sense no it doesn't make any sense no what you know else doesn't make any sense i just need to bring this up because this has annoyed me since it happened so mm -hmm. back before villain number two shows up villain number one is like threatening kim or whatever so kamal actually sent him off with his ex-boyfriend and but he didn't know that he, yeah he didn't know that they were ex-boyfriends so he sent them off with day who's yeah. kim's ex-boyfriend and <laughs> kim's new boyfriend it and his nephew for one of the infamous Day's new boyfriend it 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 yeah Got it confused yeah, yeah. Day, that's what i said day's new boyfriend okay. it okay okay yeah. so okay. <laughs> kim's ex and Kim's ex's new fella yes. are going on vacation yes. with their nephew. Yes, it was very cute. It was very cute. So Kamal's like, Kim, you're in danger, boy. You're in danger. I got to send you with, like, my ex-bodyguard because, like, he doesn't work for me anymore. So no one will think you're there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so they're having, like, the lovely, like, the beach episode. You know how yeah. BL and anime do yeah, yeah, the yeah. beach yeah, episode. Yeah, yeah. So they're having a good time, and, like, Kim's, like, you know, he's real pissed at Kamal, by the way. Right. Like, he's real mad about this. So Day, Kim's ex, is, like, okay, like, you know, we got to be safe because, like, you're in danger. So he then has to, like, leave <laughs> Kim and it and the nephew at the house to go get some, like, aloe vera because the little kid gets a... It's a sunburn. This has bothered me since it happened, okay? And so... And he tells them not to open the door, and then yeah, he opens the yeah. door? Okay, no. So Gay goes, okay, listen, I have to run to the store. If anyone knocks on the door, pretend you're not home and don't answer it. He tells this to two grown-ass men, mm -hmm. okay, who know that, ma like, a douchey mafia dude is after one of them okay this isn't like and they have a kid with them so it's like mm -hmm. the double and then literally 30 seconds after he leaves someone knocks on the door and they're like oh let's go open the door like <laughs> That it doesn't me. make any sense. Just it would, you know, what would have made sense if they broke in, like if they busted down the well, door. Also, not just too, like it didn't make sense either because this was not the first time. I know. Like, he's been kidnapped previously in the show. <laughs> like, like it's Terry bothered had, me since. So, like, so the female. Okay, and then okay, so here's another thing because, like, so the whole like time. I've been very upset with this woman, like Cherry, because it's like, just you need to stop. You need to like not do the things that you're doing. Okay. And so in episode like nine, no, in episode eight, mm -hmm. like it surprised me because like she's like, maybe I should not do this. Yeah. I was like, I was like, oh my God, you had an epiphany. This is great. You're not, you like, you know, you're not gonna like, you know, keep going. You're gonna like retain your dignity and all this stuff okay so then though like a spoiler i mean this is whole thing is whole spoilers doesn't matter yeah um, <laughs> we've been spoiling since the beginning we warned them we warned them i know, I know. Going. so like so then like uh she hands over like these very important documents to like kamal because he said like i want to be your friend like mm -hmm. this i'm this is like me like just letting go and me like living my life or whatever okay great that's Awesome. Fantastic. Good job. Fantastic. Good job. And then, you Absolutely know, but then, wonderful. like, she gets kidnapped, right? She gets kidnapped by her cousin. A classic. classic. And for some, life, so for some strange reason, <laughs> I mean, listen, yeah, I don't have no idea why episode, reason. The I don't know continues. why episode 10 was such a clusterfuck. Like, I have, because at that point, like, like things have been going pretty well with the plot. Nothing the makes writing. sense. Everything's chaos. <laughs> and then, it's... so, so, so in this scene, like, and this is part four, like, on YouTube, like, if you're watching it on YouTube, um, we're, like, they're, like, Kim is picking up Babu, Babone from, um, from, from school, but it sounds really bad, but, like, from university, okay, but, like, <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, that sounds really terrible. Anyway, so he's being picked up from university. And, and Cherry shows up wearing this like babushka, like headscarf. <laughs> Listen, the headscarf <laughs> sent me to fucking <laughs> like cloud nut. I was like, is this a disguise? Is she wearing a disguise? Guys, it, is this why I'm Wella? Like, what's going on here? Like, and like, and like, so I was supposed to like react to this part too, but like, if it, I'm like, anyway, I, I just I cut it out at like part three because I was like, you know what? I'm tired. I need to go to sleep or whatever. So I didn't react to this. So I so I saw it before. Like I saw it before like our episode, and I was just like, and I saw this scarf and was like, oh. It's really a miracle. It's really good that I didn't react to this on like camera because I would have just like lost my shit at this babushka scarf. It's <laughs> like, it, like, it, like it's hurt. so good. Like, <laughs> like, and like, but then, and then the way that they, and, and I thought they were censoring the gun because they censored the cigar. Like, on, for whatever reason. I, you I must say, I, okay, I really <laughs> love the dramatic, like, because not only is she wearing like the scarf she has like a coordinating scarf over the gun oh that like dramatically falls off i was like i was like this scene is so indicative of how stupidly ridiculous this show is it is so dumb and i love it <laughs> i was just like losing like now now well now that this, this is on camera but like i was like <laughs> Because in the last scene they had before, like, you know, uh, Kamala smoking a cigar, but like, <laughs> for whatever reason, they decide to blur out the cigar. And, a like, classic oh. caper, really. <laughs> and so, like, one, it just looks funny when they do it like that, because it's like, you're making it look way worse than whatever he was originally supposed to be holding or whatever. And then I thought they were gonna, I thought they were using the gun, no, I'm sorry, I thought they were using the scarf to censor the gun. No, <laughs> no, they just like. So another thing I have to mention about this show, because I've literally mentioned it so many times, but it, it's still funny, is how dramatic the music is, <laughs> often for absolutely no fucking reason. Like, for example, there's like one scene where like, Kim's like mad at Kamal because he spends like a third of the show just pissed at just his boyfriend, okay, just being just a being little bitch totally about pissed. everything. Which, Love by it. the way, Love at it. some point, like in the beginning, like Kim didn't have a lot of reasons to be mad at this. Yeah, like, like as time goes really on, he gets way more reasons to be mad. <laughs> yeah. Like he gets yeah. so many reasons to be mad. Um, so he's just like walking down the stairs to go like open the front door. No, he's walking down the stairs to go ask one of the bodyguards if like Kamal's coming home or something like yeah, it's yeah, yeah. you know and literally the the music like think opening sequence of dark blue kiss like if you know you know like that's yeah. how fucking dramatic this music was and my husband's like damn like what's happening on that show I'm like a guy's walking down some stairs <laughs> oh, that's you know, all that's the, happening the other... and the music is always this dramatic it's like the other part that really kills me was when they were like in a they were at the vacation house like it was like after um, like this is like they took they took two vacations. Yeah, they have two beach episodes. Everyone, yeah, there was like <laughs> going was like wild. The, right, there was like oh, and the, first of all, my favorite was the second beach episode because like okay, we'll get we'll get into this. Okay, we'll okay. get we'll get into that okay. later. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but anyway, so like so that one like slips, he slips or something. I don't know if it's on the skateboard or like he just slips. But like the music that plays while he slips is like is you you would think that he like died. I know. It was just I like, know. Like that it's like a it's gonna be like some like a lacorn where he slips and hits his head and suddenly he has amnesia. No. It's no. just like a minor just, Yeah, it's just like a minor cut, but the and then and then Cole like carries him. Bridal I know. style. He's so fucking dramatic. He's so dramatic and over the top. Okay, also what happened on this episode that I literally, okay, I howled laughing. I, I don't think I was supposed to, but I was laughing so hard I was crying and my husband 
who worked from home left his office to see if I was okay. Like, this is how much I was laughing. Where you have these, like, three, because you have the head bodyguard who's, like, yeah. got his little jailbait. Yeah, yeah. You know, whatever. So he's, okay. he's 20. Let's not, he's not. Like, listen, yeah. 20 with the mental capacity of a 13 year old. Okay, moving on. Okay, moving, um, on, moving on. So you have these other, these three other bodyguards that looks like they haven't done much this whole time. They've no. just sort of like been around yeah, being friendly, like they, doing yeah, their job. Orders. Yeah, yeah doing whatever. Their doing their thing, just occasionally being like a go to between yeah. Kim and Kamal when they're fighting because they spent yeah. the first half of the show just fighting well that's also kim hilarious. fights kamal yeah. is not he's just like mm -hmm, yeah i yeah. understand i understand <laughs> yeah, you're still mad yeah. at me. Mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. i yeah. just i just love you and want you to be safe and kim's like fuck you uh, <laughs> anyway so you have these like these three bodyguards who are yeah. just like around they've just you yeah. know been doing their thing yeah so suddenly <laughs> like as soon as it started, I was like, no, 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 they're not doing this. So it shows like one of them playing like video games video on game. his phone mm -hmm. on, on like the bed. And the other one's like taking his shirt off and he's like, hey, like it's really, you're really sweaty. Like you should go take a shower. And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I'll take a shower. Like I'll go like later. Um, like, after like, later. I'm just, let me finish my game. Blah, blah, blah. He's like, yeah, hey, yeah. whatever. So then I was like, are you still going to fuck? So then <laughs> he's like, well, I'm going to go take a shower. If yeah, you yeah. won't, you filthy little crap yeah. so he like goes into the bathroom but the third bodyguard is already, already in the shower and then he's like oh like you know it was like a setup for like a bad porno it was like oh excuse me like <laughs> i didn't mean i didn't mean to interrupt you in your shower <laughs> and the other guy's like well now that you're here <laughs> like you might as well like join me so they just like out of nowhere Okay, these guys, I just need to point out, there has been no indication that A, they're gay, or B, or bi, or pan, or whatever, interested in fellow men, or mm -hmm. or be interested in each other. Yeah. There's been absolutely, like, no indication that any of that, they've just been doing their jobs. And suddenly, they're just, like, making out in the shower. And I'm like, they're gonna like fuck in the shower with the guy in the other room. And also not and also as soon as I had that thought <laughs> is when I started laughing because I was like, oh the third guy's yeah about yeah. to come in, isn't he? Yeah. Uh in more ways than one. Mm -hmm. Um and as predicted, I was this is where I was like crying. I, I'm I'm holding back tears right now. Like because it was the third guy walks in and sees them making out and is like Oh, like just like a bad porno setup. It was like, oh, you're making out with like you guys are fooling around without me, and they're like, you could join us. <laughs> and then it just like and it proceeds to join. And then it proceeds to join. And then it just like ends. And then I'm just sitting there like <laughs> I mean like apparently oh, though, Okay. Like, but but here's sure. the thing. So like sure. So I had like other and I'm like, well that was just random and then they were like, Oh, but in the book, but I'm not I'm not reading the book. I was like, I, like how would I know? How would I know? So immediately I was like, like, listen, this man, he's just looking out for the community. Right. He's providing, like, this mafia guy <laughs> is just like providing a safe place for fellow queers to like <laughs> work in the underground without being looked down upon for yeah. their sexuality like yeah yeah what a great yeah. employer what a, like, what a great what, what a great employer. what an absolutely great guy like yeah mm, I mean, he pays on, them he's... equitably he lets them hang out with his tigers yeah very cool yeah i was just very like you know what cool. these seem like this seems like a pretty good job like they have like some benefits like you know I they just... get to like hang out you know, just like they they have to exchange some gunshots occasionally. They are also very they are guards. very competent at their. They're job. very competent bodyguards, like you know, and so yeah, it makes sense that they get to like you know enjoy some of their life. And like, what better way to enjoy life what? than by then, you know, you know, by enjoying life to the fullest, <laughs> shall we right? say? Yeah. You know. <laughs> You know, you know, as one does. But it was like um, as soon as, as soon as that happened, I was just like. <laughs> but afterwards, oh no, Natalia froze. Oh, there you go. Oh, okay, did I? Sorry. No, no, you're fine. You're fine. Um, and then after though, I was just like, I'm not gonna be able to see them again without giggling. Like I just know. 
because yeah. then that happened because like because like the scenes like afterwards where they was all very domestic was giggling because i was just like y'all just had a y'all i just had sex <laughs> and now they're all having like dinner like breakfast like like this is the most normal thing in the world and then like you know giving each other like food you know like I, like that's a thing where like I guess you show affection by like giving like you food like you know how they that's do, how like, that's in- how I do like well that's how my husband does he knows he knows oh. like when I'm having a bad day oh. and he has to like go to the store he'll be like here you go like I got you I got you a little treat while I was out at the <laughs> store I got you some popcorn and I'm like <laughs> so you know it does work it's a thing okay, okay. it's so, a everyone, thing okay I believe you it's a thing. But the, the fact that they were all doing it to each other, I was just like, <laughs> I was like, okay, sure. It is Get what it is, you know. <laughs> I mean, but that, but that was like even fine. Like that was okay. But like, like I said, like my whole issue, and I was so pissed off at this like last episode because I was like, homies, you are not on episode two. We are on episode eleven. Like, it is too late for you to come up with new plots. It is too late for you to, like, I mean, the it's thing never, with Cherry really, the thing with Cherry really bothered me because they, they like, she was, like, the least consistent, right? Because, I know. Like, she was all over the place. Because, like, because, like, you know, for the, for the first, like, few, like, episodes, like, yeah, she was very consistent. Like, she had, like, one goal in mind. And mm-hmm. then they decided that, they, you know what, like, maybe, like, let's walk it back because I think. Because maybe people are getting annoyed, or maybe like let's just not like have her do yeah. this all the time. Great, you should have just stayed with that. Like she could have been great friends, and then whatever, stayed with no, that track. They couldn't, <laughs> un, un, impossible. But then, like to have her, and then like have her go like be kidnapped. Okay, fine. Like uh, that's kind of understandable. Like she did betray her cousin or whatever. That's betrayal is very big. Like in the mob, like don't do it. Yeah, that I understood. But, like, why? Why, then, would you go and have her shoot or try to shoot Kim after she made why progress? Not? Why not? Because everything's chaos and nothing matters. As soon as they had those three bodyguards doing a threesome in a shower on their vacation, I was like, mm-hmm, okay, the show is done now. Like, the show has decided to cease all like semblance of being connected to reality and i, and I, I was just i like, understand and i was just like but that is like you guys were doing so well like you're just like mm-hmm. i mean like they were for, they, you know they were they, they were, were doing well doing i mean something. compared to like compared to the plot of like love mechanics like <laughs> Listen, do not, do not come at me, people. Like, Unforgotten Night had more of a plot than Love Mechanics. It did. No, it did. I'm not, listen, I'm not arguing with you. Like, Love Mechanics was its own (laughs) kettle of fish, as it were. Like, like, I know there's, like, but, like, plot-wise, they had, like, more to go on, okay? Like, they, they were doing a better job of that. And for them to just be, like, we're just going to abandon that in the last two episodes. And I'm just like, okay, cool. So how are you going to wrap this up in an episode? <laughs> like you're going to, like, I mean. And then, how, and then. How indeed. And then they have, I don't like. Know. Maybe they're going to, like. Deny. Do a- deny, like, this is just, like, the worst villain I've ever seen in my show. Like. <sighs> Like, he's just, but he's, like, to the point where, like, he's, like, the cartoon villain. Yeah, he 100% just, is a cartoon villain. Like, with like, the laugh and with, like, the whole, like, uh, just, like, and then, like, and then there was, like, an unnecessarily, like, shower scene, like, with always. him. And I'm, like, but this is not actually who I want to see in the show. Yeah, here's, <laughs> like, I think, I think what I said in one of my group chats was, this show has forgotten that if you're going to have an unnecessary shower scene, it has it to has, be with a character that the audience wants to see naked. Yeah, it could like, be with you and or it could be with Kim. It could, it could be, be with, it could be with, with the bodyguard, guards, like the head bodyguard. It, listen, like, it could even be with Evan. He's hot as hell. Yeah. But like... like 
But nobody wants to see nobody, him. Nobody, wa- nobody wants this. I mean, granted, nobody, he did have a good body. Like he like, he but, had a great body, okay? Yeah, he had like, a great body. Like, listen, like, no, no, not... like, this, this man is, is a good-looking dude, a little crazy-eyed, but I think he's playing that up for, like... Yeah, you know, he's definitely playing it up, like... But, like... But, like, mm, mm. But like I don't... I didn't want to see him, like, long in the shower, because it was, like... Because, like, him, like, as, like, his character was just, like... You are so unlikable, like even as a villain. And I'm like, you're not like even Dan. I was Dan. I was really unlikable. Like he was, he was not, unlikable, but he was fun. You but know? he was fun, and he was like good at the job of being like you know ba- bad mobster, but like yeah. good villain, like good like yeah. good like, like this guy's foil, just like right? okay, like and this guy's just like okay. he's even worse than Cherry is. <laughs> like like Poor Cherry. <laughs> Poor Cherry. But I feel bad for Cherry's, like, character. I really do. Because I feel like she could have had, like, a really kind of good, like, redemption arc. Or at least, like, a nice positive way that she, like, could have gained, like, self-control. Like, uh, like um, not self-control. What's that called? Self-actualization. Yeah, yeah. Self-actualization. Like, because she did. She did have that moment. And you're just like, you, great. You could have kept it there. We, yeah. Just keep that. She, she no. decided to be good. And... Yeah. And then, and then like, they just said, nah. <laughs> nah. So, and then, so it's fun, fun, fun scenes that they're going to do with the last episode. I, I don't know. Um, is that they're planning to screen this, like in, like, like, in, like on a, like, th- in, like in a theater. Um, they're selling tickets for, like, on Ticket Melon. Um, I don't know if they're going to do, uh, like a live stream, like for like international audiences. Um, so far, no word about that. Um, but I'm like, why? Like, if y'all had ended this, if y'all had ended this well, which I know, which you could have, because it was possible. Because the potential was there. Like you had like all these storylines and you guys were wrapping them up. Like that's what it was like in like good about it it's like you guys were wrapping up the loose ends you guys were like you know having like a concise plot yeah and then you and then you choose like in the last two episodes to really just like say fuck you <laughs> like, they really they really gonna play us this way hmm? they really gonna play us this way and i'm like okay yep fine. i mean it's gonna be i mean it's it's gonna be over next wednesday which is and it got, actually, it got sense because, like, then I could just be like, "Okay, well, I I did that. Well, like, that's we're, finished. We're done. We're done now. We're done." <laughs> yeah, and I don't have to talk about it again. It's gonna be great. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I wanted to like like this show all the way through. Like, and it's not that I hate it. I don't. No. Yeah. Like, I have. Listen, I have no issues with the show. Like, do I think the show's kind of does it feel like I'm being punked by the show? A little, you know, like the last the last episode made me feel like I got punked. <laughs> just like it's like the show is like I don't even know how to like describe it without without feeling insane. The show makes me feel insane. Like when you describe the show to people, you do sound somewhat insane. Like yes. you smell like a crazy person. Because you're just like, listen, it's what if <laughs> what if just stay with me here. Um what if like they wanted to make like a new you know like I feel like they really wanted to make like a new Kin Porsche. Like, to be like, yeah, yeah, don't worry. Like, we got, listen, our mafia stuff, just as good as that mafia stuff. Unfortunately. Like, it's fine. I have literally no it, problems with it. It's fine. Like, honestly, like, I'm not, I'm not going to talk about Ken Bush because then yeah. I really will get canceled. Um, but, but, um, but I, I didn't, I do like it better than Ken Porsche. Um, my own personal tastes. Don't come at me. Um, Whatever. You know. allowed, as we always say, we're allowed to have our own opinions. Yes. So, um, so I did like it better than Ken Push for some things. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think it did some things really well. I think it did um, consent really well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it did that really well. It did, you know, plot-wise and story-wise, there was, you know, 
just I think if they would have just kept the consistency towards the no, end. No, that's too you're asking too much. <laughs> I was asking too much. But so up until so episode one till episode like nine. No, like ten, maybe nine. The consistency in the writing were there. Mm-hmm. Like they they you know they had like a good like villain, you know, yep. they had a good you know, they were like, okay, well, he is trying to get this casino from mm-hmm. the kid. There was, there was a plot. Like, there was, there was a reason a plot. for it why he was doing clear. what he was doing. Yes, there was a very clear plot. There was a very clear goal in mind. Mm-hmm. And so I feel that the, for that, it was good. Because, like, they kept it together. Like, during those, the, during mm. that arc, I would say. And, and the decision to, like... Bring this like yeah. other villain that didn't need to be there. He really, truly did not. Was just like where it like went off the rails. It, also, I don't even know what to do about this show. Like, I, obviously, I'm gonna finish it. There's one episode left. Like, I mean, I'm gonna finish it. I'm gonna finish the reaction. There's only one yeah. to do. Like, but it was. Am I disappointed a little bit? Yeah, but mm. like, you know, it's like every. Every episode, like, I was like, okay, this is the episode where I'm going to finally stop watching this. And then every episode was like, nah, <laughs> fuck it. I'll just keep going. Like, it, um, it's truly yeah. an addiction. Like, no, I wanted to, like, well, I'm all, it's, the, the show hasn't ended, but I assume it's pretty much it's going to be ending mm-hmm. by the time this records. And I wanted to give the show a really good rating because I thought for, like, the most part, it was, like, it had a lot of good, like, elements and it had a good, a good yeah, it, it truly did lose the plot. And, but, like, with this whole, like, fiasco that was episode 11, I was like, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> Baby, what you doing? What you doing? Like, no. what is happening like, here? Why are and, we doing and, and this? And the really thing that pissed me off, like, everything pissed me off. <laughs> but, like, the, the thing that, like, really, really upset me was the fact that, like, Kamal had been the most consistent character. Right? I know. Literally. The most consistent. And then he just do this giant fucking one, fit this over this one eighty like, one boyfriend, and I'm like, who is this person? That I you don't, I don't know you. Who are you? That you replaced like... my main character with? Because my main character was smooth, calm, and collected, and was like actually non toxic. Yeah, surprisingly, if you had everything going for you, and then you decide to make this stink over this one person that was like in the past or whatever, yeah. very, very much in the past, especially after all the work you've put in, right? To like to get him to love you and yeah. to get him to like accept your affection. This seems and really like, counterintuitive, my guy. You know, like and I, I just and I think I. During like those scenes where like it was happening, I apologize. I mean, I usually curse in my reactions, but I like, you, you really curse. I like really, really. I I was like, I was like, what? Because because I was because was I was so upset about it because because like granted I don't like Yoon is whatever, but his character in like yeah, his Kamal, character was consistent was okay. consistent and like yes he did have some like you know toxic like characteristics you know because he like doesn't like taking no like but yeah but for the most part he was actually not bad no <laughs> like no he wasn't like he he asked for consent you know he yes he did push you know kim sometimes but most of the time he just like kim do what he wanted like you know he waited for kim to forgive him whenever he mm-hmm. fucked up or whatever he did a lot of good positive things yeah and for you to take that and be like nah <laughs> was like nah. was like was, was like <gasps> I like nearly checked my computer because I was just like, what is this? Like, what is this bullshit? This is bull to quote. So I was at this landlord. Um, like he bought the building we were living in, and our building yeah. was like super sketchy and had like yeah. this very sketchy um like electrical like light like wall sconce. And he came and he's like, What is what is this like 
what is what is this? Did you do this? And I'm like, do I look like I fucking install the wall sconce? Like, no, in my eight hundred dollar a month apartment. Like, get the, no, that was here when we moved in. He's like, this is bullshit. It's bullshit and illegal. And that's how I feel <laughs> about this. Yes, it's, this is it's how I bullshit. Feel it's bullshit and illegal. It's bullshit and illegal. You cannot make somebody a good character and then and like rip it away. Me, for me to be like, oh, he's actually not. Oh, he's actually like pretty good as a person. Like mm-hmm. you know, he has his code. Like he like rescues ladies or whatever. Like yeah. maybe he regretted that decision later. But well, like didn't, you know, didn't we all really. But but you know, he like has a code. He sticks to it. Like mm-hmm. you know, he like he lets in his. He's nice to his bodyguards. Didn't mistreat any of them. No. Nope. And were, then they were all for very him, well treated. And very it, well know, treated. They were very happy. They stayed on and off the job. Hey yo. You know what I mean, right? You know, like he was you like know, he's a know. very like consistent man. Like he is like, yes, I may be in the mob, but I have these morals that I adhere to. I might be a mobster, but I'm not a bad guy. Okay. <laughs> like exactly. exactly. But then they made him a bad guy, like oh, at the I end. Know. And I'm like at the at the final, the oh final my line. God. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just really fucking livid, and I really cannot talk about it because I will like, it'll be bad. Like I'll, <laughs> it'll be so bad. Anyway, so I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just done. <laughs> like, cause I was just like, you're like, we're, was, done, we're done here. We're I feel done like here. that, you know, that Tyra Banks meme where like, we're like. I was rooting for you. I was rooting for you. I was rooting for you. Yeah. Oh, I'm. I, it's a meme. I'm familiar. I'm okay, familiar. Know. Natalia knows all the memes. I know, but like. Well, then I know all the memes. But I'm so, I, that's I'm so, like I'm that's into like really deep fried meme like. culture. That's what it, what it felt like. I was like Tyra Banks, and I was yelling at them. I was like, I believe in you. <sighs> that's my first mistake, I guess. I believe in this show. Um. But anyway, that's, I don't even know if this is a review or like what this was exactly. I guess it was just talking like, about something talking that we're, about, you know, that we're watching. That we're watching. But I mean, do I recommend this show? Okay. If you want to laugh, I recommend this show. <laughs> I mean, for, from episode one to like episode, like from episode one to like episode like nine. Good. Really good. Solid. Solid show. Um, the later episodes, like, not so much. So, like, you know, if you want, if you want to, like, don't lose the plot, maybe don't watch episode yeah. 10. Maybe don't watch the last few episodes. Just, you know, try something else, maybe. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't, I don't really know what to tell you, you know, like, if you want to laugh. This is a great show for some comedy, some beautiful, unintentional comedy. Um, The show is fantastic. Like, it's chef's kiss. Um, If you're looking for, like, just some nuanced, uh, just deep mafia, no, Mm. absolutely not. You aren't going to find it here. Um, But it is fun. Like, the show is very fun. So, you know, do with that what you will. You know? Do with that what you will. You know? I mean, honestly, like, I would would still... I don't know. I probably wouldn't rewatch the show. But, you know, I definitely wouldn't be, like, mad that I watched it. Exactly. Some shows I'll be mad that I watched, <laughs> but but like I wasn't mad. Well, I was mad for you know what? Forget it. I was mad for my reaction for episode eleven. I can't I can't take that back. It's out there. Listen, <laughs> it, it, it be what it be. You it know, be. like. Um, but up until then, I was having a real blast. So you know, it's, this is it's it was, like it's a fun show. You yeah. know, like. Yeah. Anyway, that's that's all there is to it. You know, that's really it. That's really show. it. Um, it was a fun show. Um, 
you know, and if you, you know, haven't seen it yet, and if you're like on the fence, you know, just give it a try. And if it's for you, great. And if it's not, that's okay too. Like that's everybody okay. has their own tastes or whatever. Exactly. Um, but we're gonna wrap it up here. Mm-hmm. But I do like to wrap up, like you know, doing like either what we're working on, like on our side projects, or oh, like oh, <laughs> side projects. Or like, um, you, you, it could be anything, or like a TMI that you want to share, or like. TMI. Okay, okay, okay. I know, I got, I got stuff. I got stuff, you know. Um, so I do my uh, weekly craft stream on Tuesday nights at six p.m. Eastern Standard Corn Time. Um, we do fun crafts. We've been doing like a fun thing where, so I run a sticker club, uh, SojuStickerClub.com, if anyone's interested. Uh, and so we've been doing a thing where I just color in stickers, and that's what. That's what we do. And we've been having a really good time with that. Um, I also uh, just started making embroidery patterns, uh, stick and stitch embroidery patterns on my shop. You can all check that out. And uh, of course, my other podcast, uh, Certified Nunas, uh, every Monday we on our, on our YouTube, you can just walk right on over and check that out. That's, uh, that's, about, that's about it for me. What about you? Um, they, I really like their live streams. They're really fun. Um, you should definitely check it out. Let's see for me. Um, just my YouTube reactions. Um, so the new, um, I always post schedules and I immediately change them. So I don't, yeah, I'm not classic, gonna, a classic. <laughs> cause I'm, cause I'm like not, I can't really. Um, so though, I did though have a new trailer out. Ooh. Um, for Falcon Rack the series. That's finally happening after a year. Nobody remembers this series. But basically all you really need to know is Mano that remembers. <laughs> is that it's set in a university. Oh. And like sure. I know what people are gonna say, but it's a little bit on the mature side, supposedly. So it's oh. basically about this guy named Fallon who is not not serious about relationships. Who well, meets this guy? I'm gonna. His name is Silly. Whose name is Sherbert? Like whose name cream. is what? Sherbert. Like the Sherbert. Ice cream. Oh, I yeah. heard whose name is a stripper. <laughs> and I was like, what? It's an interesting <laughs> name. Like you, you do you, of course. But <laughs> so, and he's a musician. Like he's like he's in the art. I don't know. Like he's a, he's a musician. And so the whole premise is is that they meet in a bar. And some things happen. Oh, yeah. So, and so <laughs> things happen. Okay. And so when I was reacting to the trailer, it's up on my YouTube channel if you haven't already seen it or whatever. Um, I feel like the producers or whoever like cut the thing were like, "How many NC scenes do you want?" And the yeah. director just said, "Yes, just go, go." Just be free, <laughs> do your thing, you know. So, so that happened. <laughs> I saw that. I was just like, uh, okay. so that you know <laughs> happened. That'll be yeah. That'll be my new one. Uh, that'll be my new reaction taking over uh, Unforgotten Night, the slot. Um, so that'll be interesting. Um, because the thing is like. For like Unforgotten Night, they had two versions. Y'all mm-hmm. didn't know this. So they had one on Gaga Lala, which is like the uncut version. The, you showed like they had the yep. whole episode. They showed everything, and they had the YouTube cut version. Now, YouTube doesn't really like a lot of nudity. No, no, they, they really historically they really, speaking, they're not real big fans of it. Yeah, yeah. And so I would always, so I had to react to the, this is behind. I had to react to the YouTube version. And so sometimes I would go back to like the Gaga version to see what I had missed. And so, and yeah, it was like kind of like a little bit more, but like not, mm-hmm. I was like, not, like not, not a huge amount. Yeah, like. not a huge amount. If it didn't feel like I was going to miss out on anything. For this series though, that's going to be on Gaga and they have their own YouTube channel. I'm like crazy. Ooh, they're getting wild. They're getting like, wild. So, what? I kind of want to see how much I could get away with, but then at the same time, I'm like, maybe like not. <laughs> so I don't. So I guess it's like they have been age restricting things often recently. 
Yeah, so I'm just like, uh, well, great. But it's okay. I mean, it's just, it's whatever. It's fine. It's whatever. It is but, what it is, you know? But I was like, yeah. So I was like watching the trailer and I was like, I was like, how am I, how am I going to do this? <laughs> with g- grit and determination is how. I mean, like I do everything with like grit and determination and like some like colorful editing, you know. Yeah, you know, just we can, you know. <laughs> but also... The Lord of the Rings new trilogy. Oh about, yes, yes, yes! My husband's very Amazon. excited for that. So I'm really excited about that. So I'm going to be watching that as my. I will. Like, I will as well. I will as, as well. As my break. As my break time. I recently today watched. This is just funny. This is just a little aside because it made me. It all makes sense when I get to the end of my little story. So YouTube will some will, will randomly like send me things all the time. Yeah. Right? Like you know, and what it randomly sent me today was a video of a guy watching, a guy who had never seen the Untamed (laughs) watching Untamed TikToks. And then like vaguely trying to figure out with just that (laughs) and like the plot synopsis on Netflix, trying to figure out like what the show was about. And it just made me really, really, really want to watch the Untamed again. But then I was like, no, 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 Natalia. Natalia, you're going to your mother's for a month and has no internet. Download the download the Untamed and watch the 50 episodes there. Yeah, duh, it all really? makes sense. So that's that's gonna happen in October because uh, I will be away for uh, all all of October with my and my mom's internet. Um, if you listen to our other, my other podcast, if I knew it, you'll know uh, my mom's internet is. Chef's kiss. It's incredible. It's terrible. It's literally like, like my mom. Like, you have like better internet in the middle of a abandoned woods. Like the, the it's true. It's terrible. It's, true. it's terrible. Couldn't, couldn't do anything. So um, but yeah, we're gonna we again made this a bit longer, but that's okay. It's fine. That's okay, we have a good time. Um, we had a good time. I hope we. I know y'all had a good time. We had a good time. Mm-hmm. Um, but we're going to wrap it up now. Um, but thank you so much for watching slash listening. I hope you mm-hmm. enjoyed yourself. I hope you enjoyed your time. And we will see you all later. Bye. Bye.